executive vice president of The Hill, investigative reporter John Solomon is with us. So after your report last night, I did my own digging and I uh -huh. made a lot of phone calls and I'm like, OK, so if in fact they believe that he was put that they were recommending prosecution, the attorney general has declined. I understand there is a real deeper reason for it. And that's what you're reporting tonight. Yeah, listen, I think there are two reasons. One, this isn't a very strong case if you're going to court in a jury in New York City or Washington, D.C. It has some complexities to it that doesn't make it easy for a jury to understand. Uh, but the bigger question here is, did the, the, is the FBI director's testimony about the FISA process and the Russia investigation accurate? Was there, uh, did he do his job when he signed the FISA warrant? Is that FISA warrant false? Was there a fraud perpetrated on the court and the American public uh, to get access to the Donald Trump campaign and target it for surveillance? Those are the bigger, way more important, weightier questions that uh, Attorney General Barr and John Durham and Inspector General Michael Horowitz are weighing, and we should look for it. Here's the thing for everybody to watch. If this is going to get serious, at some point, John Durham is going to have to impanel a grand jury. The thing we should all be watching for, does a grand jury get impaneled? Do subpoenas go out? That'll be a sign that the Justice Department is looking at criminal activity. Right now, there's no sign of that. That's the thing I'm going to be watching for in the next few weeks. But usually they try to hide the fact if they have, in fact, impaneled a grand jury. There were two paths to spy on the Trump administration, though. We know James Comey was more right. uh, literally warned on multiple occasions. You broke both of, or at least one of those stories, and that was the case of Kathleen Kavlik at the State Department right. about 10 days before Comey signed the first FISA warrant in October of 2016 before the election. That's right. He was also warned, we now know, by Bruce Orr, as was everybody else. There are potentially other cases where he was warned about the dossier, about it not being verified, about it being political. But that's only one path. Now, in the Mueller report, correct me if I'm wrong, the professor, Joseph Misford, right. he was, in fact, they thought he was a Russian agent. We find out he's a Western intelligence guy. Now, also, then you have Stefan Halper. He's spying on Carter Page, Sam Clovis, and Papadopoulos. Uh, who set that up? Who do, do we know who was involved in that? And was intelligence farmed out to other countries, allied countries, because it would have been otherwise illegal to do it in this country, and they were circumventing American law to do so? Well, I can report uh, uh, absolutely uh, that uh, the Durham investigators have now obtained an audio tape deposition of Joseph Mifsud, where he describes his work, why he targeted Papadopoulos, who directed him to do that, what directions he was given, and why he set that entire process of introducing George Papadopoulos to Russia in motion in March of 2016, which is really the flashpoint, the starting point of this whole Russia collusion narrative. Uh, I can also confirm that the Senate Judiciary Committee has also obtained the same deposition. So you now have the Senate Are there tapes and of this, a federal John? prosecutor. Excuse me? Are there tapes? Are there also, I've been hearing rumors yes. about tapes involving Papadopoulos. Is that true as well? Well, we, we know that there are these transcripts. You've had many members of Congress on your show talking about that. The, those transcripts would suggest there are tapes, but whether the transcripts are tapes, we're going to eventually see the actual words that George Pap Papadopoulos used and whether the FBI properly disclosed evidence of innocence to uh, the FISA court. My sources tell me there's a big problem for the FBI there. That happened on James Comey's watch. Big problem. All right. Great reporting. John Solomon, thank, thank you. you. Also tonight, thanks to Judicial Watch. Well, last